Hi, it's me, Ingridine FP, and welcome back to um, CBT Therapy Episode 5, which is going to be about Chapter 4, because the last episode, uh, the last two episodes were about the same chapter. Um, and in this chapter, we will be talking about um, how to challenge our thoughts through our behaviors. Okay, it's the first step towards ex like um, exposure therapy. Um, I would like to remind you guys that I'm not a med like I'm a medical professional, but I'm not a mental health professional. I'm a non licensed a psychologist. I'm not a psychologist. Uh, basically, I am uh, going through my own therapy, and uh, this is um, me reading uh, through this book uh, about uh, social um, anxiety. Uh, it's in Swedish, so unfortunately, we don't have it in English. So I'm translating on the fly, um, and uh, sometimes I don't have the exact words. Um, but uh, let's get into it. So last time we were talking about um, how to challenge our thoughts, okay? And um, the first part of this is that you have to keep doing the same um, things that you've done in the chapters beforehand, which is um, basically uh, registering your automatic negative thoughts and... Um, uh, doing that throughout your week um, so uh, you have to keep doing that and a way to find out what is an automatic negative thought is to um, see are these thoughts helpful okay are they maladaptive or um, are they unhelpful um, how do I feel when I think in this way often not so good okay so that's that's what we mean by negative um, and so uh, something that can show up in these thoughts is, uh, so this is how we can challenge our thoughts, a little bit of um, extra repetition, but it's a more depth than the last chapter. Um, and so this is about, we must, we should, how do we change that into like a better thought, like a more positive thought, more helpful thought? Instead of saying, like, I must, um, like, I must uh, learn to uh, be more relaxed around others, it's better to say, I would like to be more spontaneous in social situations. Or, I should, um, I should go on a diet. Instead of saying, well, you could say instead something like this, like, there would be a lot of benefits of me going, uh, like, uh, losing some weight, like health benefits, that kind of thing. Um, another way, that the best way, uh, for me at least, is I choose to, instead of saying I have to. So, I choose to do uh, the homework that is in this book uh, because it will uh, help me in the long run, rather than saying I must do the homework in this book, okay? Otherwise, something terrible will happen, or, you know. It's, um, so there's this perfectionist uh, tendency that we have, and but we don't need to live according to other people's standards, and we don't need to li live up according to really high standards that we have set for ourselves, okay? We need standards, obviously, uh, in order to grow, but uh, they have to be helpful for us, okay? Uh, other things that can happen with these negative automatic thoughts is that a lot of these thoughts are uh, in the terms of why am I so nervous? Why am I always red in the face? Why am I always worried? Instead, a way to um, challenge that thought, it's better to think, how can I fix this problem? How can I uh, reduce my anxiety? How can I learn to uh, um, become less worried. How can I handle my these situations where I get red in the face? Okay. Um, another thing that can happen with these thoughts is to give up. Why should I even like 
look for this job. I won't get this job if I go to the job interview. I never get what I want, so why try? I will never manage these uh, social situations where I have to present things in public. It will always be a fight. Instead of think thinking like, okay, why am I thinking these thoughts? Does this actually help me to achieve the goals? Not really. Uh, maybe I could try again. Okay. Um, another thing that happens with these thoughts that it says in this book is, um, do I have something to gain from this thought? Or am I just losing from thinking these thoughts? Okay. Of course, these thoughts will pop up, but we have to like, and not, we're not like repressing these thoughts, but we're like replacing them with something new. So um, here uh, there's like an example of somebody who has to give in a paper uh, for his job uh, before midnight. Okay. And um, he's working on his computer and he's working, working, writing. And it's 10 o'clock in the evening and he's like halfway through. And uh, he thinks, help, like, help me. There are only a few more uh, hours left. I will never manage to, to do this. And I will have to sit here all night and, um, like, uh, be super stressed out. And this uh, work won't turn out good. Okay. M maybe that will happen. But are those thoughts helpful? Uh, like, instead, it just gives him more anxiety. And he can't think. And then he can't work as well. So it's better to think like, this will take some time, so I will do my best to take one thing at a time, and then afterwards I will reward myself. Um, that's a more positive way of seeing it. Another way to, that uh, these negative thoughts can uh, um, be bad for us is if um, we um, think of just a negative, okay, of only our weaknesses. And we criticize ourselves for like, I'm weak in this certain point, but actually uh, we might be really strong in other points. And like, we're just, we're just focusing too, uh, on, on too much on something that we're bad at. Okay. Um, okay. Maybe we might not be the, the most social people when we talk in front of a group or, uh, you know, uh, marketing ourselves, that kind of thing. Maybe we have like more positive than other people and other traits. So these traits can be our appearance. These traits can be our intelligence, our um, competence, uh, the way that we uh, um, like manage our work and our routines, creativity, our health, our social status, our personality. Okay, so none of us are like the worst or the best at every single one of these things. But we might be a little bit better or a little bit worse in different areas. And just because some people focus on one area doesn't mean that that's the way that we should think, okay? We have different values, we have different um, qualities, uh, we have different gifts. Uh, we should like feel bad just because we can't do one thing and think that everybody hates us and is mad at us because of that one thing. And maybe they appreciate us for a ton of other things that we are, okay? So that's uh, good that um, we shouldn't have such high expectations um, in the things that we are weak at because we know that we are weak at it. So um, we need to be proud of ourselves of trying to get better at these weaknesses. Another thing is uh, the conclusion from our thoughts. Because sometimes some thoughts are uh, not actually a negative, but they can be turned negative in the brain that doesn't, uh, that, that, that is ill, like, like um, the people like me with social anxiety, okay? So maybe the thought in itself is a neutral statement, but we interpret it negatively. So here they give an example. Um, this is a person who says, I really have no friends. I have no friends, okay? That in itself doesn't actually, isn't actually positive or negative in itself. But um, the conclusion that this person um, takes from that is, my life is useless, 
and I'm, com I'm a complete failure. So that makes another negative automatic thought so that needs to be challenged, okay? And when you think about it, well, maybe that wasn't such a realistic thought. Life isn't useless just because you have no friends, okay? Um, or um, you could say, like, I'm a total failure. Well, it's not always a failure to not have any friends, okay? So uh, these are the different ways to challenge negative thoughts into positive ones, okay? Into making an alternative thought, okay? We talked about thought traps and how to challenge these, like, thought traps. Um, but this is a way to turn a negative into a positive, okay? And um, the way to, uh, um, like, manage to believe in these negative, uh, in these, not negative, in these uh, alternative thoughts is to do a um, behavioral experiment uh, to, um, like, um, realize that these negative automatic thoughts are not realistic, Okay, because we can think our way through things, but we need to actually put things into practice in order to experience it. Okay, so um, one automatic thought that they say he here is, I will uh, uh, like completely embarrass myself from this work interview tomorrow. There's no idea to like actually even going there. And the experiment is to go to the interview and see what happens. Uh, that's a pretty simple um, experiment, but other ones are a little bit more crazy, okay? So uh, bear with me. I'm going to be kind of laughing at these, but uh, this is actually a book that is pretty serious. So. Uh, so one of these is, if other people see that I'm red in the face, they will laugh at me um, and embarrass uh, and like humiliate me. And so one of the things that you can do is to put a lot of blush on your face or to run on the stairs and go out uh, in front of people and see what happens. Okay. Uh, this is kind of like you're doing the opposite of what you want to do and see what happens. Um, it would be terrible if somebody thought that I was uh, stupid or incompetent. That one is a really big thing for me. Here somebody is that uh, puts himself in front of the store and asks the passersby uh, where the store is, like is sitting in front of the store and he asks where the store is. Uh, so basically put yourself into an embarrassing situation um, to see what actually happens. Does the catastrophe actually happen? You know, this is really hard to do. So I like, for me, um, I, I get anxiety just thinking about this, okay? Another one is, um, like, I shouldn't, um, uh, like, I, I don't want to um, have people over uh, for eating at dinner because they will all say no. And instead, invite somebody to dinner. See what their reaction is from that person. Um, another thing is, um, I, I cannot uh, stand the attention of everybody's... Uh, um, like um, stairs, okay? I don't want to be stared at. Instead, do something that attracts other people's attention on you. For example, coming late to a lecture or losing your keys or uh, putting your shirt inside out um, or um, making something fall that isn't fragile in the store, okay? To me, it feels like I'm kind of inconveniencing a lot of people uh, by doing that, so... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how, how I feel about all these. Um, the most important is uh, do not put like your health or, or like anybody else at risk, okay? If they say, do not tell your boss that you hate them and see what will happen because um, that might not be so good. That is kind of what I want to do, but I am not doing it because we have to be safe first of all, okay? But there are certain ways of doing things that won't kill you, okay? So um, uh, it's better to take these social risks and, and then you will see that there are some benefits. Uh, we cannot always be scared of being rejected because 
well, um, maybe we will be rejected, but then we don't find all the benefits that uh, this uh, could give us. Okay, so um, I uh, then afterwards it comes with some questions that we might have about this because obviously we have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions. I don't like this is a little bit of a weird way to think. Okay, so um, there are a lot of questions here, so I'm going to pause the video a bit. Okay, here I am again. Um, one of them is, I think it's hard to identify negative automatic thoughts. And um, sometimes these don't come as thoughts. Sometimes these come as images or as uh, memories. Um, and the way to do this is to go into the situation uh, that uh, usually gives us a lot of feelings and see what kind of thoughts pop up. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Um, and uh, for example, if you feel a worried like you don't feel good when you go into uh, the coffee room and talk to your colleagues, uh, just um, sit down and breathe and think like what are the thoughts that come into your head the closer you get to the coffee room, okay? Um, what do you think could happen? What does this situation mean for you? Um, did I get any like images in my head? What did I think uh, about uh, the situation? What would the consequences would it give me? How would I react in this situation? Which symptoms, physical symptoms, would I get? Um, so uh, that is a way to do it, um, to find a negative automatic thoughts. Another thing is it's hard uh, for me to write down these automatic thoughts when, and I don't remember them. A way is to always keep a sheet of paper in uh, your um, backpack or in your uh, pocket. Uh, for me, it's been kind of hard because, well, I sometimes get these thoughts like while I'm in the middle of driving or I'm um, like at work. So um, it's okay to go back afterwards and try to put yourself in the same situation again um, in your imagination. But it's best to do it in the moment. Um, another way is, um, another thing is my thoughts are completely like useless or like illogical and unrealistic when I write them down, that's actually a good sign, okay? That means that you see that these thoughts are, are silly and, and it's actually like um, good that you're questioning the feelings, okay? So don't be worried about that. Another thing is um, I don't like these, um, these uh, charts that I have to fill in. They're just awful and I don't like them. And that doesn't matter, okay? You can make your own chart. That's why I'm uh, presenting it like this, because um, nobody really cares about if you have the exact chart I have uh, to use here. Um, another one, something that might uh, be useful for INFPs, is I confuse uh, thoughts and feelings. And that can be a big thing, but it's basically a feeling is just one word often. It's anger, guilt, um, it's... Uh, fear, um, the, the feelings can also be uh, physical th symptoms, so um, um, like pain, um, it can be um, a cold feeling, it can be uh, shaking, um, it's usually just one word. Thoughts are usually more complex, more um, like a sentence or, or a few words. So I feel this way because Blah, 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 blah. And that feeling is uh, that, that first thing. Like, I feel sad because I cannot do this. Uh, so the sad is the feeling, and I cannot do this is the thought. Okay? Um, I think it's difficult to challenge my negative automatic thoughts. And uh, one thing they say is that in these thoughts have to be put uh, into specifics and not just general. So instead of saying this uh, presentation will be a failure, it's better to say, well, it's, it's, it's better to use this phrase in order to do the, the exposure therapy, to say, I will be so anxiety filled that I will not be able to finish this presentation and I will have to run away from there, okay? Something more specific, you know? Instead of saying, this won't work, 
you have to like go into why do you think this won't work i think i won't be able to talk during the whole um the whole presentation uh from other people i won't be able to talk during the meeting uh, so um there are some ways to do it and it says like a way to find out because you know that's kind of hard to get into specifics what do i actually mean by this general thought how would i found find out if this like about this negative general thought you know what is the worst that could happen if this general thought uh, was true you know um so that's how you get into these specific negative automatic thoughts um and what is it that makes you anxious about these situations what is it that scares you so uh, do not focus on the feeling focus on the thoughts that are coming up okay because that is that is what is um that is what we can control we can't control the feelings that come up okay so um yeah that's a good thing and another thing is do not formulate these as questions because uh, it's better to put this as a declaration something that will happen because that is easier to question okay a question cannot be questioned in the same way so it has to be a declaration like i will not be able to do this instead of saying like mm, will i be able to do this it's difficult to question a question okay so this is uh, those about how these negative thoughts are and um, here is uh, a little bit more about the challenges some of my thoughts feel completely impossible to uh, challenge or, um, or or to question and yes some thoughts are true okay unfortunately not most of them but some of them okay sometimes uh, you just are not great at this one thing or you know or um in most cases like it's true and sometimes we just have to accept that okay and that can uh, lower our anxiety just accepting that that stuff is true um but you have to also think if that is true what are the conclusions of that we talked about this earlier about the negative thought on top of the negative thoughts okay so that's a way to um question uh, that the, the conclusion that you took from that thought. Another one is, I have a hard time believing my alternative thoughts. That's completely normal, okay? Uh, these negative automatic thoughts um, are not something that we're used to thinking of. So obviously we, we're, we're so used to going on this one path that we don't know like what to do with these new thoughts uh, that we have created kind of artificially, you know? We're so used to looking down on ourselves and, uh, um, you know, having no uh, sense of self-worth or that kind of thing, that it will be hard to find alternative thoughts, okay, or to believe in these alternative thoughts. But more experience, more practice will give us strength, okay? And then here we have, when I am in a situation, I'm to it like filled up with anxiety that I can't actually use these strategies I've learned. And that's okay. Okay, we have to take one thing at a time. Um, it's important to uh, be exposed again and again uh, and to uh, slowly uh, build it up. Okay, we can't like throw ourselves into a scary situation um, and expect that we all be able to like think completely normally. Um, so uh, it's okay we will manage this okay and um, it's a little bit like uh, they, they give an example of how these alternative thoughts usually feel kind of difficult to question a way of seeing it is like Galileo trying to explain that the earth uh, well revolves around the sun and not the other way around and um, everybody thought that that was crazy okay and he wasn't believed and that's a little bit how it is okay he was stating a truth but everybody was so used to their own thoughts that um they didn't want to see anything else okay so now uh let's go into the uh, uh behavioral experiment okay so i'm going to um use uh, this sheet that's on this page and um 
go through um, something. I haven't actually tested this theory yet, so um, we'll see how it goes, but um, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so I started with uh, this sheet, which was about um, challenging your negative automatic thoughts, which is uh, from um, um, the last uh, video, um, episode um, four, it must be. Um, and um, because the first sheet is uh, like registering all the thoughts, okay? So I, I've already started to do that. Uh, and this was a situation I came across on Sunday where um, I had to uh, uh, cut uh, an onion and I don't know how to cut an onion and um, uh, my friend was looking on, okay? And I felt, and so my thought was, um, my friend will think I'm stupid and incompetent because I can't, uh, like, I can't cut an onion. I can't chop an onion. Uh, and so I went through, like, what are the thought traps? Like, I'm thinking that he's reading my thoughts, uh, all of that. Um, all of the different thought tra traps, if you check out episode three. Um, and uh, I had to put the posit like the, the arguments for and against, this is true. And I had to put an alternative thoughts and uh, my feelings afterwards. And it, it did feel a little bit better. But it was on the scale of... How much I believe this thought at the beginning, it was a hundred, okay, out of a hundred. So this was pretty bad. I kind of got a panic attack from this. Um, and so um, now I'm going to do um, this next um, worksheet, uh, which is about how um, I'm going to challenge this thought, okay. Um, so I'm going to put myself in a slightly different situation. I'm going to be with an other friend, okay? Uh, so my thought is people will find out uh, or will think that I am stupid and incompetent if I don't cut uh, vegetables or uh, cook in the right way, okay? How much do I believe this thought? Well, I put a 90 on there because um, I think it's okay uh, to not know how to cook food but uh, to not go how to cut vegetables is maybe a little bit more anyway the experiment is i'm going to um uh, cook a meal with vegetables with my friend and i need to cut the vegetables on my own with him um, in the room where you can see okay so that is my experiment how i will uh, like um, test if this thought is true then you have to say, like, what do you think will happen? Okay, how will you know this that will happen? Try to be so exact as possible. I said that uh, my friend um, will have to take over uh, or, like, um, uh, say nice things to me to, like, um, uh, get me to stop uh, doing what I'm doing. And uh, he might, um, like, uh, criticize me for it uh, or... Um, like the way that I would see uh, if he um, was uh, uh, angry is uh, that, well, he he usually acts a certain way when he's angry. So like I kind of recognize that. Um, and uh, another way is also uh, seeing like how the, the onion turned out. Okay. Uh, if it actually turned out good or not, uh, we'll see. Um, and the result is, hasn't happened yet because I haven't done this yet. But uh, you have to say, was, was this true? Was your uh, prediction true? How did you find out that it was true or not? Um, and what did you learn? Or did you have an alternative thought? Does a result um, like correspond to what you thought? Uh, what, like, what, um, what can you learn from this experiment? How much do you believe your negative automatic thoughts now from zero to a hundred? Um, so I haven't done this yet, uh, but I have kind of done this uh, in terms of my driving because I did um, uh, in my last video, I talked about the situation where I had to uh, um, like, go, like turn and go fast on the road and uh, there was a bus behind me. And I went driving today and uh, the same sort of situation came, but there wasn't a bus behind me. There was just a car. Um, 
but it just um, it, it just worked out well, you know. I thought that I would like um, um, stall the car and that I would uh, like uh, that the car driver behind me would get angry and such, but the car behind me did not. Uh, it didn't like they didn't honk their horn or anything, so it was all fine. Uh, so I feel much more confident in that kind of situation now that once it went badly and once it went a little bit less badly, okay? Uh, so it doesn't always have to be that I um, stalled a car ten times and that I'm, um, uh, that I feel that people are angry behind me. Because maybe they were never angry at me. Who knows? So um, that's it. Now I've talked for half an hour. And... Um, Tell me what you guys think. I've been having a like a hard time, but today has been a good day. So I'm going to keep doing this, keep registering the negative automatic thoughts, keep trying to challenge them. And I hope that I can do a um, thought experiment, a, a behavioral experiment to test these thoughts um, uh, during this weekend or, um, or earlier if I can, okay? And have a great day, uh, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.